thank you for joining me for the eighth session in our series, Introduction to Puberty Education. I'm Wendy Sellers, a registered nurse and a certified sexuality educator. I'm also the author of Puberty the Wonder Years. In this video, we will look at strategies to provide parent materials for puberty education. In our last video, we talked about the research that says that schools can focus on two main efforts. One is to provide parent materials that address barriers to parent engagement and encourage parent-child communication at home. That's the focus of this video. In our next video, we will talk about increasing school and teacher confidence to communicate with parents about puberty education. Keeping in mind that by using these two strategies, we will increase the homeschool partnership that supports and protects students. So focus number one is strategies to provide parent materials. And I'd like to clarify the definition of parent as parent, caregiver, or trusted adult. This is a more inclusive way to describe the adults in your students' lives who can support them and answer any questions or concerns that they have. Now I'll share eight strategies that you can implement. Strategy one, send the information home in multiple formats, multiple times, and in clear language that is at a sixth grade reading level. Using these low dose self-directed delivery methods for information to parents can be very effective. Strategy two, prepare and deliver puberty education courses that are designed just for parents. Remember, many parents did not have a good sex education. So by offering them some courses that can increase their confidence in talking to their children. These can run parallel to the school-based sex education for students and um, help them to have those conversations at home with their children. Strategy three, develop a Q&A materials for parents to model how they can do uh, conversations at home with their children and help them deliver accurate and rights-based information to their children. Strategy four, provide fact sheets about puberty education and relationships that are developmentally appropriate, beginning in the lowest grades and continuing through graduation. Inform parents about what students need to learn at each age to help them navigate their development into sexually healthy adults. You can see the resource list in the blog post for a a free chart that you can get describing healthy childhood sexual development. And you can share those free charts with the parents in your school. Strategy five, create short videos on relevant topics for parents who wanna to talk to their children at home about bodies, puberty, relationships, consent, sexual behaviors, and other current topics. These short videos can model how to use teachable moments to begin a conversation at home such as while watching television, cooking together, if they see animals mating and other teachable moments. Strategy six, create a puberty education lending library for the parents in your school. Include books that are written for parents as well as books that are written for students. You can feature a new title each month and encourage parents to check out the books to read themselves or with their children. You have a resource list in the blog post that gives you a link to puberty books for adults and children that I've compiled. And that book list is available for you for free and you can share it with your parents. Strategy seven, point parents to a self-paced online class for parents, such as preparing parents for puberty. See the resource list for a link to that online course for parents. And strategy eight, Publicize trusted quality puberty education websites for parents to visit as they wish. They can provide lots of information for parents and answer questions parents may have about talking to their children. For an example, visit How to Teach Puberty Education at Home, a series of blog posts for parents who want to teach their children about puberty, and the resource list in the blog post has a link to that and other parent resources. 
Now it's your turn to apply this information. What strategies for providing parent materials will you try?